A couple of weeks ago, many NBA fans would have said that Evan Mobley had locked up the Rookie of the Year award, but over the last couple of weeks, a lot of those conversations have shifted towards Scotty Barnes. So in today's video, I'm going to let you guys know once again why Scotty Barnes is the clear candidate for Rookie of the Year. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Jacob here, back with Amateur Hour Sports for another Toronto Raptors YouTube video. If you want the greatest coverage and analysis on the latest Toronto Raptors news, then you need to be subscribed to Amateur Hour Sports. And once again, this video is powered by BetStamp, the best in sports bet tracking and odds finding. They're not in the business to take your money, but they want to help you make more money by getting the maximum value out of all of your sports wagers. Use a link in the description to download the BetStamp app and use code RAPS on sign up to let them know that I sent you there. But let's get into our video today. We're talking about the rookie of the year race once again, because I think this is the point of season where this conversation is the hottest it's been. Scotty Barnes over the last couple of weeks has really reinserted himself into these conversations as a clear candidate. Many people were starting to drift off of that conversation. I maintain my stance that Scotty Barnes was the rookie of the year, but now there's a lot of media personnel, American NBA media personnel, personnel who actually have votes and are going to be voting towards the rookie of the year who are starting to turn towards Scotty Barnes. It might be a case of Scotty Barnes playing really well over the last couple of weeks. It might be a case of Evan Moley maybe slightly fading off and also right now he is currently injured and it also probably has a lot to do with the fact that the Raptors have moved clear of the Cleveland Cavaliers as the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference. Cade Cunningham is also really starting to ramp up his game and maybe inserting himself as an outside candidate to win the award as well. So what we want to cover in today's video, we want to talk about the case for Cade Cunningham as that outside shot. Then we want to compare Scotty Barnes and Evan Mobley and discuss the one stat that truly showcases why Scotty Barnes is the clear candidate over Evan Mobley. So Let's get into Cade Cunningham first of all. We got to talk about it a little bit here. Cade Cunningham, to me, he's not going to win this award. It is between Evan Mobley and Scotty Barnes. I think that for Cade Cunningham, his statistics are very good. And any other year, I think for any of these players, they would be the clear rookie of the year favorite at this point in the season. But this is looking like a generational draft class that we're going to be talking about for decades to come, how good this draft class was. And for Cade Cunningham, unfortunately, he is going up against Scotty Barnes and Evan Mobley, who are having such a profound impact on their own organizations who are in winning positions. The reality is maybe Cade Cunningham got the short end of the stick by getting drafted by the Detroit Pistons for the season. As it comes to the Rookie of the Year honors, Detroit Pistons are a team that is currently getting better and better. I expect them to be much better the next season, but the reality is for Cade, who is posing some crazy stats. His stats aren't better enough than Barnes and Mobley. In fact, they're very similar to Barnes and Mobley, what they offer on the court. His stats are similar in the sense that you need to be really picky in this situation. And I don't think that winning really is going to be such a big part of what goes into voting for rookie of the year. However, in this case, Barnes and Mobley are playing on much better teams and having like that same sort of impact with a considerable amount of higher usage out of Cade Cunningham. Again, you have to be really picky in these discussions. I just don't think Cade Cunningham has done enough to go above either Evan Mobley or Scotty Barnes. So the conversation is going to turn towards Mobley versus Barnes. That's kind of the way this has gone since the start of the season. Nobody else has really done enough to get themselves at these two's level. And Recently, we've seen Scotty Barnes really start to take over a lot of conversations. I've been seeing a lot of podcasts, NBA podcasts, NBA videos where there's analysts like Bill Simmons, Zach Lowe, and many others who are starting to understand the real case that Scotty Barnes possesses. They're watching Scotty Barnes play. And, you know, the stats, like I said, they are very similar for both players as it goes to points where Scotty Barnes has a slight edge, where it goes to rebounds, where Evan Mobley is a slight edge, where assists, Scotty Barnes with a slight edge. Field goal percentage, Evan Mobley with just a slight edge. Three-point percentage, Scotty Barnes with a slight edge. And on the surface level of these stats, they are very similar players. But the important thing about the NBA understanding the talent of a player, what they bring to a team, is using those stats in comparison and in unison with watching them play the game. And when you watch them play the game, you really start to understand the impact that each of these players have. Statistically very similar, but as you move to the on-court stuff, Scotty Barnes has showcased this season that he has a lot more to offer to his team than Evan Mobley. Looking at the offensive side of the game, Scotty Barnes is 
positionless. He can do any role for his team, playing as a center or playing as a guard. He can be the primary ball handler running the offense. He can be the off ball forward, cutting to the rim. Sometimes he can stand outside and shoot a three. He's shooting just under 30% from three this season. There is so much that Scotty Barnes can bring to you offensively, can go on massive scoring runs on his own, can create his own shot, which is vastly important. And Evan Mobley, you know, no disrespect, he's a phenomenal player, just doesn't offer as much to the offensive side of the game as Scotty Barnes. Evan Mobley has to rely a lot on his teammates to create his offense, and we're going to revisit that very shortly. But Evan Mobley has to rely a lot on his teammates, where Scotty Barnes does not necessarily have to do that to have the same sort of effect on their offense. For that reason, Scotty Barnes is clearly showcasing a lot more offensive talent than Evan Mobley. As it comes to the defensive side of things, Cleveland Cavaliers fans and anybody really has any sort of case for Evan Mobley here are going towards the defense, what Evan Mobley brings to you defensively. But Scotty Barnes' versatility as a defender goes so far beyond what Evan Mobley gives. And it again comes to the impact they can have on their team in this situation. Scotty Barnes offers you so much more defensively because he can literally guard anybody on the opposition. Any of the positions, Scotty Barnes is taxed with defending those players. And a lot of the times, Scotty Barnes is given the assignment against the opposition's best player. We saw in a lot of situations, him having to guard LeBron, him having to guard Joel Embiid in, in those games. And Evan Mobley, when you watch the Cavaliers play, he seldom has to get a tough assignment on the other team, especially, you know, if it's a guard or forward, Evan Mobley is going nowhere near that. Well, Scotty Barnes wants that challenge. He wants to go and defend the best guy. Nick Nurse is trusting him to do that because he can do a good job in those situations. Evan Mobley doesn't even get those matchups or assignments at all. In fact, when the Cavaliers recently played against the Philadelphia 76ers, even though Jarrett Allen isn't available and Evan Mobley is playing as a center, Laurie Markkinen was the one guarding Joel Embiid. Evan Mobley doesn't get those assignments, doesn't get those difficult assignments that Scotty Barnes does. And Scott Scotty Barnes is showcasing a lot on defense in multiple positions, guarding the best players in the league. So as much as Evan Mobley is a fantastic rim protector, fantastic in the paint, Scotty Barnes once again just brings that much more to his team on defense. That is what is going to separate him here. So if you have the case for Evan Mobley, offensively, there really is no discussion. If you want to go to the defensive side of the game, Scotty Barnes just brings so much more to his team there. So I really am struggling to understand what sort of case there is for Evan Mobley. I've been reading a lot of articles lately in preparation for this video to see what people think about Scotty Barnes, what people think about Evan Mobley. And I'm trying to find these neutral opinions. And anytime I'm seeing something about Evan Mobley, like there really is nothing right now that you can use to say to me that showcases Evan Mobley is more deserving of this award than Scotty Barnes. Up until very recently, the only real case that people had was, well, Evan Mobley, as close as they are, Evan Mobley is on the better team with a better record. It's looking like that is not going to be the case at the end of the season as the Raptors take a multiple game lead on the Cleveland Cavaliers with only five games remaining. You want to chalk that up to injuries? You can. You can chalk it up to whatever it is. The reality is the Raptors are in a much better position in the Eastern Conference right now, and a lot of it has to do with what Scotty Barnes is doing on the court. So right now, I'm not seeing any sort of argument that supports Evan Mobley that I find valid. And the biggest thing that we need to talk about in this discussion is what Scotty Barnes is doing offensively. And we've talked so much about the stats being eerily similar. And I said, there's one thing that is gonna separate them. If you watch this channel, you know what I'm gonna say. Scotty Barnes does so much more by himself, creating much more difficult shots, yet still produces the same quality of offense of Evan Mobley, I would say even better. Scotty Barnes has over 50% of his made field goals unassisted, whereas Evan Mobley has less than a third, less than a third of his made field goals on assist, which means a lot of the time, it's a lot of other players doing the work for him. For Scotty Barnes, it's him doing the work for himself. I understand Mobley, it's good to play in a team-oriented environment and he fits that system, but as far as the talent goes for the best rookie in the NBA this season, that stat coupled with everything else we've talked about over the course of this video showcases to me and should showcase to you that Scotty Barnes has done more offensively for his team. He has done arguably, and I would say he has done more defensively for his team. And by doing that, he is helping the Raptors achieve a better record and a better position in the conference than Evan Mobley.
All of these arguments put together showcases that Scotty Barnes is the clear and real rookie of the year. I, I am opening up an invite to anybody to really give me any sort of argument, like clear and concise argument that showcases why Evan Mobley is more deserving of this award than Scotty Barnes. The odds right now are like favoring Evan Mobley by a considerable amount. I would say good value is putting something on Scotty Barnes to win because I think a lot of analysts are starting to flip as Evan Mobley is currently injured. Scotty Barnes is building his case even more with a fantastic 19, 8, and 7 stat line from last night. Thumping something around that range. He has done enough consistently over this season to warrant the award. And I made a prediction four or five months ago. I made the bold prediction. I said that by the end of the season, Scotty Barnes is going to deserve the award but it's going to get robbed as voters decide to go with Evan Mobley. We'll kind of see if that comes true, but I truly believe no bias involved whatsoever. And many people, non-Raptors fans agree that Scotty Barnes is the real rookie of the year. So who do you have winning the rookie of the year award? Who do you think should win the award? And again, if you have a case for Evan Mobley, I really just want to hear it in the comments down below because that is it for me for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please drop a like on this video if you did enjoy and consider subscribing for the greatest coverage and analysis on the latest Toronto Raptors news. We do three or four videos a week to keep you guys entertained and check the link in the description to sign up to the Betstamp app. Again, I know I'm promoting this company, but I truly believe in what they offer and I'm a big supporter of that brand. Use the link in the description and code wraps to sign up to support me and support the brands that support me. See you again next time for another video.